Do you think a company like Meta is going to build a giant ASI without a fail safe or a kill switch to prevent uncontrolled behavior? What what would you say to people who just say like they wouldn't build it without a fail safe or a kill switch built in? I guess my answer would just be like they always want to take the next step. Right. So it's like when you zoom out and you're like, would they ever build something bad? It's like, obviously, no. But then when you zoom in to like day to day life, it's like, OK, are they going to work on the next release? Yes. Are they going to work on the next release? Yes. Is every release more dangerous? Yes. Do they realize that? Yeah. Are they going to slam on the brakes at any particular time? No. Why? Because the next release is insane, insanely lucrative. Right. They want to release that next release. It has a lot of good sides to it, too. And I do also think that there's this sort of idea that whoever gets to the automated AI researcher first, whether that's like a company or, or, or a state and launches that compounding improvement, the timelines kind of shrink in the sense that if you're behind by 12 months, you, it might be as well behind by 10 years. So there's definitely also, I think, that pressure on them to get there. And we don't yeah. know exactly where the line is. I wish I could tell you this is the exact amount of research you can do before you discover the last insight that makes the AI start researching itself and, and be uncontrollable. If I could tell you that line, I'd be like, great, let's all research right up to the line because ever, the closer we get to the line, the more money we all make, right? The more our AI employees can help us and, and cure cancer for us. So it's it's just such a tragedy that the universe has given us this problem 